what is it on now? 40. It's on 40, 40. and it's, is it already unbearable? Ah! 50. Ah. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times Piers Morgan pissed off everyone. This is complete gastronomic appropriation. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at controversial moments throughout Piers Morgan's career, both on and off screen, that really annoyed the general British public. Is there a British celeb that angers as many people as Morgan does? If so, let us know who in the comments. Number 10. Trump Love To put it as nicely as possible, Donald Trump is a bit of a polarizing figure. Back in 2008, Piers Morgan met Trump when he took part in, and won, The Celebrity Apprentice. From there, the two formed a friendship. I can be so politically correct like you've never seen. <laughs> After Trump became president and decided to divide the US, Morgan stuck by his chum, even regularly defending his bizarre policies on occasion. It wouldn't be until the infamous Capitol riot in 2021 when Morgan finally announced he broke up his friendship with the former president. I think he just lost his mind. Morgan used such terms as deranged and dangerous to describe Trump. This was a 20-minute interview. Oh, oh, sorry, Listen, I, this was a 20-minute interview. Oh, Number 9. Slandering a Women's March It's incredibly frustrating that, even today, women's marches are still desperately required. Instead of being a decent human being, Morgan decided that insulting those in the protest was more appropriate in 2017. On Twitter, he called the women a group of rabid feminists. Yikes. This, of course, drew the ire of many. I would take this conversation a lot more seriously from you, Piers, if you hadn't spent the previous week denigrating the march and talking about rabid feminists. One of which was actor Ewan McGregor. The Obi-Wan performer was set to appear on Good Morning Britain to talk about train spotting too. However, when he arrived at the studio, McGregor heard Morgan would be interviewing him. So, he left straight away, as McGregor's a supporter of the Women's March. Ewan McGregor, who's an actor, who was here to talk about a movie, has decided he can't come and talk about his movie. Morgan, ever the grown-up, slandered the actor on the show and in his column for Mail Online. Number 8. Phone Hacking Comments the phone hacking scandal was one of the biggest stories in recent years. It involved journalists believing that they were allowed to illegally hack into phones to grab gossip. One person accused of the practice was Piers Morgan, when he was editor of the Daily Mirror. Yeah, you right. can access their voicemail. You can ac access their voicemail just by tapping a number. Now, are you really telling me that journalists aren't going to do that? The problem became so big that the Leveson Inquiry was formed to examine the ethics of journalists. In 2012, Morgan was interviewed about his involvement, which he denied. Were you aware of the payment at the time? No. However, several people have claimed otherwise. One was Lord Justice Leveson. When asked about Morgan's denial of being involved, Leveson stated his account was utterly unpersuasive. He further added that he believes Morgan didn't authorise the hacking, but knew about it and let it continue. Um, is that you listened to a tape of a voicemail message, is that correct? I listened to a tape of a message, yes. <laughs> Number 7. Offensive Imitation In 2020, Peter Phillips, the son of Princess Anne of the British royal family, decided to take part in an advert to sell milk in China. Because it's Piers Morgan, he started by looking for a way to make it about Meghan Markle and Harry. Feeling worked up, Morgan thought it was appropriate for an offensive impression live on Good Morning Britain. But I only drink yang yang dong dong yang ming ming. No. <sighs> While Susanna Reid fired back, the audience was already angry. So much so that 1,095 complaints were filed to Ofcom and social media was filled with people furious by Morgan's grim impression. Morgan defended himself by claiming he was just mocking Phillips not Chinese people. He's drinking ching chang jong milk, right? You can't. From the Chinese state. You can't. Well, that's what they just said in the advert. Yeah. Number six, transgender comments. A couple of times in 2019, Morgan decided to use the same gross joke 
when debating trans rights on Good Morning Britain. He decided to mockingly identify as a penguin, in reference to one of them being raised as gender neutral in the London Aquarium. He told the audience he was now a two-spirit, gender neutral, pan-neutral, gender fluid, femme penguin. Can, as I did earlier, now identify as a two-spirit, neutroid penguin. Well, you're not, you're not a penguin, because she's a bit of Why? common sense. This was done to mock people that don't fit in just the male or female categories of gender. The second time, during a debate on gender identity, he whipped out that uncomfortable comment again. Then I'm entitled to identify as a two-spirit penguin. This caused 950 complaints to Ofcom, who didn't take any further action. Morgan responded apologetically. Just kidding, he was smug and stated he was empowered by the Ofcom result. You have, as I suspected, empowered me. Number 5. Fake Torture Pictures In 2004, the UK was in the midst of the controversial Iraq War. So the Daily Mirror, with Morgan as editor, placed on their front page shocking images of British soldiers abusing Iraqis in custody. However, a couple of days later, it turned out those images were faked and were actually shot in England. The Mirror then put out an apology for the hoax to their readers. Morgan was then summoned to a meeting with his boss, Sly Bailey, who ran the Trinity Mirror, now known as Reach, who owns the Daily Mirror. But Morgan refused to apologise for printing the doctored images, so he was sacked as editor after nine years in the role. Piers Morgan's exclusive pictures have been exposed as fakes, but this morning he was still defiant. Number 4. Taking on Vegans With more and more people becoming vegetarians and vegans, many companies are now releasing products which cater to these lifestyles. However, rather than just let people live their lives, Morgan decided to attack vegans and the pastry chain Greg's, who released their vegan sausage roll in 2019. Morgan decided to claim on Twitter that no one wanted this. He followed up by eating one on Good Morning Britain. They're delicious, actually. Because they've got the same seasoning. Ooh, God! He went with dramatic expressions and implied that he was going to be sick. A little bit of Morgan performance art to get the morning off to a weird start. Later, in 2020, Morgan admitted the stunt was done just because he was bored. In a democracy, I should be allowed to say strongly that I don't like a vegan sausage roll. Number 3. Belittling mental health Mental health issues being spoken about publicly is vital. It's always great when a famous face can talk about their struggles. It lets people who have similar experiences feel a little less alone. But that's not good enough for Piers Morgan. In 2017, he decided to belittle all those that suffer with their mental health. Well, I suggested, You're going to cry. I suggested you can man up in the middle of a Wimbledon final. At the time, there were claims that around 34 million people in the UK had issues with their mental health. Morgan dismissed it and used the tedious term man up on Twitter. Former footballer Stan Collymore turned up on Good Morning Britain to talk about his experience with depression. Morgan tried to backtrack, briefly, but also claimed celebs exaggerate their battles. Some celebrities, I think, massively exaggerate their problems as a kind of badge of, uh, of celebrity excess. Number 2. Sexist Comments In 2020, viewers of Good Morning Britain got to enjoy their coffee with a bit of sexism. Not the best start to the day. Laura Tobin, the resident meteorologist, was discussing the weather. Morgan decided to draw attention to her trousers, calling them the most skin-tight leather hot pants. They're the most skin-tight leather hot pants I've seen in many a year. Beyond not knowing the difference between trousers and hot pants, Morgan was slated by his co-hosts and viewers for his misogynistic comments. Hot right. pants are short, these are long, these are trousers. It's not the only time he's embarrassed his colleagues on the GMB set. In 2021, he took aim at Charlotte Hawkins, who wore a green dress. He demanded she get up to show the cameras and announced her attire was the first sign of summer. Gross. I am wearing a dress. I only know what you're wearing because as you walk Breaking past news, our briefing I have meeting. a dress on. Number 1. The Meghan Markle Vendetta 
Since Meghan Markle ended a drink with Morgan to go and meet Harry, the presenter has carried a jealous grudge for years. Markle, on the other hand, has gotten on with her life. With every chance Morgan gets, he jumps on an opportunity to slate the former actor. After her interview with Oprah Winfrey, Morgan went off on a rant on Good Morning Britain about not believing Markle's harrowing story. I'm sorry, I don't believe a word she says, Meghan Markle. Well, this caused a massive 57,121 complaints to Ofcom, the biggest in their history. It came to a boiling point when Alex Beresford argued with Morgan about his obsession on air. But is there a when it was said okay, to, but let me ask when you, it was said to me, is the, key word, the key word was, yeah. are you worried? Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. But that to me is And racist. there's a big difference. This led to Morgan's infamous storm off and quitting the morning show. But he hasn't changed. He continues to mention Markle whenever he can. And before you think this is some kind of joke, remember that Meghan Markle's old friends probably thought the same thing when she told them she's going to hook her claws into a British prince. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.